your job while you were in UFC was you were a bouncer at Spearmint Rhino, right? Yeah. Like one of the most famous strip clubs here yeah. in Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> you, you've probably seen some stuff. I've got to see human nature. I got to see <laughs> money, drugs, and sex. Uh, and people surrounded by it at all times. I get to really see human nature. How many arms did you break as a bouncer? Never. You know, well, uh, there might have been one time there was a kid who grabbed me as he was leaving. Uh, and he wouldn't let go of my suit. Yeah, his wrists looked pretty jacked by the time we got done with each other. Uh, I, I, I center locked him bad. You know, I put his pinky against his elbow. And, uh, and, and so his probably broke. But for the most part, I wouldn't do that to people. I did a lot of walk-alongs and, and, and maybe, uh, you know, uh, I would put people in joint manipulation for motivation. But then I started learning early on in my career that it only worked against people that are moderately sober. Because then, like, you know, a drunk guy has a high pain tolerance. And what am I going to do, break your arm? I'm going to fucking be poor by the time all the lawsuits settle, right? Uh, I learned that cutting off the blood to someone's brain was the most effective way to to, 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 to motivate people to, to see things my way. What was your favorite choke? A uh, rear naked choke. Okay. I have a turnaround. When we're done, I'll show you on camera. It's one of my things I teach in all my self-defense classes. I'm 400 for 400 on it. Like, I've never missed it. You know what I mean? Like, every time I go and someone, we've had a conversation, basically I hit an arm drag and I take people's back standing and I pushed their hips out from underneath of them. I, I got it from small circle jujitsu. Watched a video on it one time. I was like, oh, let me train that. Man. Does it, yeah, and it works great because it won't work in an MMA fight because we're too far from each other. And then even in the clinch, you're, you're fighting somebody who already knows they're in a fight. So, you know, the plum clinch and a lot of over under 50-50 clinches are going to be much more prevalent. Uh, uh, but this one works great because it works phenomenal on somebody who's standing there with their chest against your chest. You know, their face in your face squared, you know, with their knees uh, aren't bent. Can you show us now? If we go to a two shot, like don't put it. Well, you guess you don't don't take me out, but yeah, you want to see it? I just want to see the technique here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on. We'll, we'll have to probably we'll just move take, closer. We have we'll to take our headgear off. Okay, we'll take our headphones off here. Right. We'll just move our mics over. Yeah, we're we gonna stand. stand? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just pull, pull your mic up a little. All right, so we don't hear them. So okay. I would be hearing people walk up to me. Right? Yeah, they're in your face. Right. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my true. god. So you can see how like wow. you're not ready for it because we're sitting here talking like, hey, buddy. I just push and I cheat because I'm stepping behind you. Yeah. So I turn you half the distance. I turn half the distance. And then I pull you oh. into the choke by pushing your hips out. Wow. Yeah, I see it. And then it. now, whoop. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I like how you took your uh, your flip-flops off for that. Yeah, Jeez. I just barefoot. <sighs> I felt like I was an inch away from death there. <laughs> wow. That's an impressive... That is... No, it catches people off guard. Like I said... If you resist and you pull back, I've only done that a couple times. I've had go guys. Back that way oh, now. sorry. Yeah. I've only had a couple that's guys. The, that's the spot. Pull on me. Probably have a wrestling background and understand, you know, that I'm taking Ryan, the corner thank on them. You. Wow. Coming in here to readjust the cameras, so watch me uh, get choked out here. Wow. <laughs>